We've probably all seen those invasive insects, the spotted lanternflies. You know, they're in the trees, they're on the ground, they're flying at your face. <laughs> Sometimes they land on you. Ugh. While the saying is, if you see it, squish it. Some people are asking, could there be a use for them? Well, 10 TV's Catherine Simon learned some Central Ohio beekeepers are seeing the insects impact firsthand. It's a game changer. By this time, most years, beekeeper Nina Bagley's work is done. I usually get June and July light honey, and I pull in June and July, and then I stop at the end of July. In August and September, we go through a dirt. But this year, she noticed something different in her honey. I had this really strange, smoky, very thick, very citrusy, kind of had um, cherry flavors, figs and different flavors. So she consulted friends and experts in the beekeeping community who suggested the change could be linked to the surge in spotted lanternflies in Columbus. I probably wouldn't have believed them, but I did see them in my field. And an Ohio State entomologist confirmed it's likely. The spotted lanternfly takes out the sap from the tree, excretes it into this thick, uh, sugary substance called honeydew. Bagley believes her bees are picking up that honeydew and it's causing a late year surge in honey production. It's also changed how the honey looks and tastes. It went from the light locust in the spring to my summer amber, and I usually get this and then I stop. But I've got this, which is red and smoky flavor, and then two days ago I pulled it off again and it's a darker flavor. Bagley isn't sure yet how her bees will fare through winter on this honey. I won't know until um, the spring, but from other beekeepers that I talk to, the bees survive very well on this honeydew honey. But for now, she's embracing the abundance and atypical tastes. So, gotta love the honeydew.